One year ago, the greatest video game of mankind came out, Yu-Gi-Oh! Mass Duel. And I know what you're thinking, Ryan, it's not the greatest game. I don't care. It's a fun game. And I probably played more of this in the past year than anything else. I'm sorry, I'm just addicted. I'm back at it. I'm going back to the stages of Yu-Gi-Oh! that I went through when I was a kid. And we have a big focus on Dark Magician, and for a big focus that we have, you would think that would make this deck viable, man. <laughs> it's bro, you can't just drop punk. And, and sprites and go, here you go, here's Loser Chaos and think that's enough. It's not enough, man, it's not. For starters, if you spend 3,000 gems, you can get the Dark Magician pack, which gives you a royal finish, good art, I should say, really good art, Dark Magician, because this is the only other one you can get in the game, and this is not amongst my favorites at all. But this one's fire, I like this. And 3,000, even though it's a bit steep, you do get a lot, you get like a deck box, you get a background, you get a decent amount of stuff. But the big one, of course, is none other than the one, the only, Illusion of Chaos. Finally! And the cool thing about this, it's only 500 gems to get a single structure deck. You're gonna wanna, wanna buy that three times, so you have three copies of Illusion of Chaos. It pretty much builds you everything you need in a Dark Magician deck. Oh, by the way, before I forget, what did you guys get from your ticket? Cause I'm upset. I mean, it's cool that we got an ace monster, but like, eyes, I hate pendulums, man. This is what I'm not pulling. Let me know uh, what you guys got from your ticket down below. But like seriously, all the major cards that are like the most expensive to get are all here, which is kind of cool. You get your, uh, you're probably not gonna use Master Chaos. I mean, it's a good option, but you're probably not gonna use that. You have the Dark Magicians, you have Dragon Knight, you got your Circles, you got your Soul Servants, you have your uh, Magician Souls, you got copies of the Dark Magician. Pretty much all the main elements you need for Dark Magician, you can just get in this. So for 1500 gems, you can build a whole viable version of Dark Magician in the game. The only problem is, is you're still missing the main aspect of it, Dragoon. Now, as you guys know, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon is still banned in the game because of Preda Plant. And even though this is a pretty good boss monster, it's not as good as compared to the main boss monsters in the game. I mean, even though he's got pretty powerful effect not being able to get targeted or destroyed, and he can pop and do burn damage, and he's also on an Omni Negate once per turn that also gets stronger if you do it, he's still pretty easy to overcome. Well, not to say easy, but he's still very overcomable compared to a lot of other boss cards in the game. I think we need Dragoon, but the only reason why this card is banned is literally because of Preda Plant. My God! Now, as I mentioned, if you buy three copies of that structure deck, you'll pretty much be able to recreate this, what I think is one of the more better versions of Dark Magician. I do have two versions. This is one. This is my more fun one that also has stuff like uh, bonds between teacher and student, which brings out Dark Magician Girl along with Dark Magician. You can also pop the whole field because of Dark Burning Magic. This is my more, more fun version of the deck, but it's not as viable because pretty much any decent tier deck is just going to blow us back out. Now, this is actually the deck that I use IRL, like literally to a T, it's the same deck, with the exception, exception of I had a change of heart last night because that card just got unbanned. So really, the big changes are you have Illusion of Chaos, which lets you search any Dark Magician-related monster card, so you can add Magician's Rod, you can add uh, Magician's Souls, you can also add uh, Timaeus, so United Dragon, into your hand, and in exchange, you can put one card back, which normally you end up putting this back. So it's basically a searcher, which is what this deck kind of needs to be more consistent. But again, without Dragoon, you're still not going to get too far. And once you start dealing with all like the high crazy metas in the game, you're probably going to lose a lot. But you know what? You're going to have a lot of fun while you're at it. Honestly, Timaeus, I feel like it's kind of underrated. Again, if you get hit by Imperm, it kind of sucks. But what it does is, is you get to send a Dark Magician card away that mentions Dark Magician. You special summons for free. And then you can immediately fusion summon a card from the extra deck using cards on the field or your hand. So this is a good way to get... Dragon Knight out and immediately you can get Dragoon eventually. You can get out whatever whatever fusion cards are at hand that are possible with the combination on your field. This card brings it out basically for free. But yeah, let me stop talking. We're just gonna immediately hop in and I'll show you how the deck actually works. I think for the sake of this video, I'm gonna do the pure Dark Magician deck first. Again, this deck is fun, but the problem is because of, of so many different moving parts, it's not the best. Also, by the way, we got the blue ice made finally, which I'm excited about. This is not the best. So Hopefully we got Dark Magician player because I see that they got the update and if that's the case we probably will outplay them I just know once you come across the Sword Souls, the Runics, the Sprites now, it's going to be awful And this hand is actually not, oh this is a fantastic hand I have no responses unfortunately but oh, you know what, my brain's working, I got it If this is, if this ends up being a Dark Magician deck I'm going to be so happy because I'm literally going to win and I'm going to use their material as well. Unless, of course, they actually put... Oh! They're going to get Dragon Knight out in the beginning? I got excited. That's bad. And Illusion of Chaos, which now you can see how that car works. That you search basically whatever monster you need. Magician's Rod. That means they have souls in their hand. They open up with a cracked hand. What is this? Yeah, you always put Illusion of Chaos back. I can't stop this because I got no responses. 
If they have Eternal Soul on the field, I cannot use Super Poly. Okay. All right. We might be slightly in trouble here. Good Lord. What an opening hand. Again, I'm going to assume one of these has to be Magician Souls because I don't know why you wouldn't search Magician Souls first. Because with this, you can literally summon the Dragon Knight and then protect your entire back row. Your entire field is basically invincible at that point. Oh, check this out. You know what I love about this? Oh, they don't have, they don't have the field set. So Dark Magician is on your side. If you get a, a mirror match, they have the blue eyes one over here, which is kind of dope. And I'm really hoping that, okay, maybe we have a chance. Maybe we have a chance. So what I have to do here is we're going to do Magician Souls right away. And yeah. Okay. I'm going to just summon, uh, you know what? I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh, I have a great idea, actually. Check this out. We're going to bring Dark Magician out. They're going to respond with their Eternal Soul here in a second. New animation. Q new animation. That's cool. And because they gave me the material here, I'm literally just going to take your dragon and make my own dragon knight. Let's discard. I guess we'll drop one of these. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate the gift. I don't know why they didn't, they didn't summon dragon knight first. And when they activate eternal soul to grab their uh, dark magician, I'm just going to literally uh, call it a grave it. Now we play bomb. This is why I love playing this version of this deck. Because now I can do this. Check this out. We immediately summon the dark magician girl. Ooh, you know what? I will let you. Well, they don't have. They don't have circle. Yeah, it's a no for me, bro. It's a no for me. I thought about it. I was like, do I want to? Nah, it's a no for me. If they had circle in the field, then it's something I have to worry about. Well, actually, no, I don't because I'll have. Uh, I'll have my magician salvation here active soon too, and I can also pop their whole field with dark burning magic. Dark magician girl, rise! I'm gonna go ahead and set this right here. Boom. Okay. Now I need Soul Servant to give me salvation on top. That way I have protection. I can do that right now. And let me discard. If, if they have Ash, they they basically win here. This is one of the things. Like until you get the moving parts all out of the way, they have Ash. That sucks. Okay. That's okay because they don't have Circle. Again, them not having Circle is very bad. What I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna attack. Attack this. Now they're gonna summon their uh, Dark Magician using this yep but again they don't have they never set circle so they're not going to be in a good position here what's funny is if you if you call by the grave in response dark magician and they don't have one in their hand they basically usually lose you know what i just realized dark burning magic will not work because this has to be an original name dark magician okay so maybe we are in trouble here okay well what i need them to not do soul servant loses me the game circle loses me the game you know what their top card is illusion of chaos so all they gotta do is activate illusion of chaos again Grab Rod, put Circle on top, bring this back, banish me, and then I lose. Ooh, that Ash Blossom saved your life, man! They're probably wondering why I'm not activating this, because I can't. I don't understand why original name Dark Magician is a thing. I mean, I get it. Congrats. Congrats. At least I have another... You know what? If he's smart, he'll grab Soul Servant. Activate Soul Servant to pick up Circle. What are you doing? Wait, 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 wait. You control... No, yeah, what are you doing? What is he doing? Why did you do that? Does he think that my Dark Magician Girl counts? Because it doesn't. What are you doing? This has to be the first time playing Dark Magician. I gave him the solution to win. They just realized that they made a mistake. All right, it's kind of sexist, but okay. She was literally just sitting there existing. And they didn't even... All right. Bro! Salvation! Well, yeah, sorry, I put it on top, duh. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this. Put this on top here. And then activate my... That. You know what's funny? Check this out. Let me show what's funny. First, I'm going to go ahead and activate this. Draw two. Their whole board is about to leave here in a second. Change of Heart is a beautiful card. Change of Heart is a fantastic card. I really want to use it, but I can't. So what I'm going to do here is I'm simply going to... I'm just going to end my turn. Because check this out. Let me show you why I love using this variant of this deck. We activate Eternal Soul. We're officially protected. Then we do this. I got the Dark Magician. Tell me you don't have Call by the Grave. Oh, they don't. I was about to say. If they have Call by the Grave at that point, I'm like, you're just better. You're just better. If they have something that they, act, they can activate. They have some kind of quick play. What do you have? If they drew Call by the Grave, I'm literally going to be sick. They did not. And now, your field is gone. Dark Burning Magic. All gone. All gone. Poof. All before the main phase even started. Love it. And they're gone. <laughs> I really wish I knew what they drew. Ooh, we get to go first. Love to see it. All right. Now, what's the opening hand looking like? I mean, whatever. 
Actually, this hand sucks. <sighs> this hand is awful. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this first. Oh, I'm, I thought I clicked on Apprentice. Whatever. I guess we'll, we'll send you to the graveyard. Put this right here. They have something that they can activate. I'm gonna go ahead and pop. I think I'll lose here, honestly. All right, we're just gonna go in the graveyard as well. So that's gonna be a plus two. What I need to happen here is I need to draw into... Why would you ash that? Why? In what universe was that a good play? I don't understand. Okay, what I need to happen here is I need to draw into uh anything. And I'm dropping an imperm for it. What are you doing? It's one card. It's literally one card. All right, I think they just win here. Can I make Baron this way? Does, it, does this work? Can I make Baron? Does, it, does this work? Is this enough for Baron? But on. All right, it is time for Baron. But on the floor. Hopefully Baron is enough to, <laughs> to do anything here. <laughs> this is all I can do. They have three cards. They have three cards. All right, let's see what happens. Yeah, that was a terrible opening hand. Again, Dark Magician is a fun deck, but it just still lacks. Like in a meta where everything's a one card starter, requiring like two or three, four, five cards is crazy. Um, no, that doesn't really do anything yet. You know what's funny is I gave them the recipe where if they're smart and grab Soul Servant, which they just did, I am going to, you know what? I'm gonna let them do that one. I have not, actually I have a play. I have a play I can do. Ironically, Baron, like with a lot of decks, just wins duels against this deck. Because the second they activate Soul, not Soul Servant, but um Eternal Soul and try to use it, I'm gonna pop it and the field goes bye-bye. I hope they understand that they will get two draws because I have Dark Magician and Girl in the graveyard because this counts for both. Oh, I see what they're doing. That might be a problem. They're going to banish. Well, I can always banish Circle when Circle activates, right? Can negate the activation. Once while face up, when a card or effect is activated, can negate the activation. Does that mean I can, um, you know what? I'm just going to be childish. Check this out. No. <laughs> I'm just not going to give you the, the pleasure of drawing two. Because the chances of this being Eternal Soul or something important is, is probably really low. Yep, I knew it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Ah, uh, they do. Illusion of Chaos is a fantastic card. Okay, so first things first, we pop this card. So we have to deal with it. The next card is going to be Magician Souls. I activate this. Oh, this is gonna be fantastic, actually. Uh, and we grab, I wish I could just grab this. Oh, they're just gone. All right. <laughs> That's how you take a bad hand and make it playable. I mean, it also goes to show you how bad the Dark Magician deck actually is. All right, can we get a duel where I actually pull off my combos and the cool stuff? Probably no, because I'm recording and that's just a curse of a content creator. I swear that always happens, always happens with content creators. You always want to show off something cool, never happens. Because, oh, RNG is just not going to be on your side today. But I have a good feeling about this one. Watch this hand. Ooh, that's a hand and a half. That is a hand and a half. Let me show you how, how good his hand is. Illusion of Chaos. Oh, just Max C? I can deal with Max C. I say that right now as if I'm not about to get my entire back blown out. All right, watch this. We have something else? What else do they have? All right, first, we're going to go ahead and... They're going to draw a lot, though. Maxi literally just wins him the game right now. But you know what? At least I got my combo off. So, first things first. We summon Magician's Rod. And with this, I'm going to grab... Ain't no way. They also had... They also had Ash. That's fine, I guess. Not the worst. I'm going to activate Magician's Souls now. I'm going to go ahead and summon Dark Magician, right? Yes, you're gonna send Dark Magician away. I'm, I'm telling you, they're gonna draw a lot here. Summon the Dark Magician! You know what, if I end up winning, this will be a fire way to end the video. Bam! They draw one. Now we play Bomb between Teacher and Student. Also really let me mill my deck out. Bring out the Dark Magician girl! They get another draw. And we're gonna set uh, Dark Burning Magic. I will special summon Timaeus. I'm going to send, I guess I'll send you away. I get another draw, which is crazy. Bam! And now I, I hope that I get Eternal Soul somewhere. If I get Eternal Soul somewhere, I did not get Eternal Soul anywhere. That is a yikes. Okay. Well, I guess it just wasn't meant to be. I guess I'll put you on top. And I have no interruptions. I think I should keep this like this, honestly, because Dark Burning Magic, as you guys already saw, requires original Dark Magician and Girl to be on the field. All right. I'm just going to assume that this is good enough. If I survive the next turn... We get to break out, you know, Dragon Knight and all the cool stuff. That Ash Blossom really hurt. <laughs> that Ash Blossom. That Ash and Maxi, I'm going to throw up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. If I had Dragon Knight and Eternal Soul in the field, I'll be fine. But, oh. Oh, it's just, it's just this? I can deal with this. This is actually great. As long as they don't have, like, Harpy's Feather Duster, I am chilling. If they put Dark Magician on top. That means they want to draw. Oh, they're going to draw two. They're going to draw two because I have Dark Magician and Girl on the field. Remember, 
Soul Servant is not just your side of the field or your graveyard. It's together. So them, them activating Soul Servant right now will get them two cards. Yep. They draw two. All right. But good news is I can destroy the entire field. So once I see... Um, what should I call it being played? Salvation, which they most likely will. They threw the entire deck. I mean, come on. I'm going to pop the entire field. Also, I, you know, I think it would have been really, really cool if you had the Dark Magician background too and then we could, we could have completed this duel, but no. No. You want the basic, basic background with a car. Yep, there's Salvation. I, I hope they understand what some... They gotta... Surely they gotta know what's happening here. Like, there's no way you're playing and you know Dark Burning Magic is on, a, on, on, on my field face down. Hey, did you just not read? They probably just didn't read. No shot this wins me the duel. Preparation of rights. Okay. They also have Dark Magician in their hands still. I don't know what... They're... I don't know what they have because normally you would play, you would play Illusion of Chaos. You would play, whatchamacallit, first. Magician's Rod and stuff like that. Oh my god. At least next turn, since I have Rod on top, there's Rod. Okay, so they are grabbing Rod. If they do Rod into, if they do Rod into Circle, then I'm going to pop the field because I don't want them to banish my stuff. I also, I also assume they have another Eternal Soul on their, on their hand. Like they have to, right? Why did you do it in this order? What are they doing? What? My fellow Dark Magician duelist, what are you doing? You're making us look bad, man. You're making us look bad. Why are you doing this in this order? Play a rod first, get circle out, summon, banish something on my field. <laughs> Why are you doing this? What is happening? I think I know what's happening. I think they have secrets of dark magic in their hand and they want to pop, uh, there's rod. Now they grab circle. I don't know why they're doing this in order. Again, if they grabbed circle, put her down first, activated it, they would have gotten a free banish with souls. I just realized what their name means. All right, now we're just going to activate uh, Dark Bird. Well, actually, I don't have to yet. I don't have to do anything. I, like, I don't know what else they can do here. Their entire field is about to get obliviated. This is probably one of my favorite effects. Editor, zoom in on this. Look at it, it's so cool. Their Soul Servant. What What are you going to do with it? I can tell that this person is watching a How to Play Dark Magician deck right now while, while, while actually dueling me. And now you want to activate this, but they're doing it all out of order. I'm also sick that they had Ash Blossom Max Seed. They had the most optimal hand, and this is what they ended up with. You put Illusion of Chaos back on top. Why? For what reason? Oh, God. Please go to battle. Please go to battle so I can just be hype. Okay. Thinking away. Artemis. Or Link Spider, actually. Yeah, because they, they said Dark Magician away. I, I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to set their Eternal Soul next turn. Except for they don't realize that their field is about to go pop. Also, can I say shout out to my Royal Finish Dark Magician girl? And Dark Magician, they look so good together, don't they? You know what makes me sad about this duel is knowing that the second I flip Dark Burning Magic, they're just going to quit. Why? I'm doing it now. I'm doing it now. Dark Burning Magic! I'm not letting you summon that. You know what? If this is Imperm, well, no, they can't set it anyways. On top of that, it's a turtle, so I literally watched them set it. In my mind, it's been so long since this turn started that I'm like, I'm just flabbergasted. Ooh, do I want to do this? Yes, I do, actually. Let's send Dark Magician Girl away. All right, now they don't have any other plays that they can do. They have four cards, and I have no idea what else they got in their hand. And the main reason why I stopped this is because they could have potentially gone into Unicorn, which would have been annoying. They could have gone to Axis Code. And just in case, I didn't want them to do that. That's why I popped them right then there. All right, but they already did a normal summon. They played uh, Eternal Soul. They played, or they said it. That's got to be another Eternal Soul. Or they're setting a uh, dark magic circle as if it's gonna matter. And they're gone! <laughs> I mean, I kind of showed the, the, the deck set up off. You know what, let me see what they actually played. All right, so, oh yikes. I mean, it's a dark magician deck. They definitely set skill drain. They definitely had set skill drain here. Yeah, they were out of place. I They literally could have ended the board in like turn one with this if they just did everything right, but they're probably also just learning.